Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Flashing Lights here on the channel. So in the last video, this is the second video I should mention, in the last video we were the police, we had a look at some of the jobs available, we still got more jobs to do to showcase and to play it in general. But for this video here we're going to move on to the fire brigade. Still got the medics to do, we'll do that in the third part of this series, but uh, I have played with the firefighters before, really cool, really enjoy it. Um, we have not the medics at all just yet, so I'm looking forward to that, it's going to be a first look for me. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, once again, this is one of those ones where you really need to be on multiplayer. For those who didn't see episode number one, um, this game is multiplayer. There's public servers you can go on. There's uh, private servers you can go on. You can make your own server if you want to. Uh, but I don't know anyone else with the game just yet. So we're going to go ahead and do this solo today. I am planning on putting together some, uh, for a future series, a group of us that can play this together. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into the Fire Brigade. Uh, male, female... I haven't actually checked out the females yet. Oh, she's tall. We're going to be male, though, because I am a male. He's probably the most detailed. He's... Mm, that's very British style, that one. But we're going to go with this one, because I feel like that's more American style. Uh, maybe? I'll tell you what, we're going to go with this guy. Uh, we can have a hat. We're going to go ahead and use this one. I'll just show you the rest of them in case. We've got the black hat, the white hat, the party hat. If you go... If you didn't see episode number one, this, as you can see by the text, is just a birthday hat that uh, they've got for the Flashing Lights birthday. This will not be in the final game. This game, of course, is in early access. We're going to go ahead and use the yellow hat. Let's go ahead and click done, and I'll see you guys at the fire station. Right, so once again, welcome to the fire department. Uh, we were in the police station last time. They're completely different buildings. Each uh, unit has their own uh, station, which is really cool. We've got a table over here, once again, for the birthday. Container fire. We're not ready for that just yet. I'm going to go actually go ahead and turn that off. So here we could change our roles. We can be police or paramedics from here. And we can also select a vehicle from here. So we're going to go ahead and select a vehicle. There's three vehicles at the moment we can choose from. We've got the Crown Vic car, so that's probably what the chief would be in, for example. We've got the actual fire department ladder truck. And we have the dumper tanker. This is my favourite. I will use... We may not use this one. We'll find out uh, during the video. We'll see where the video takes us. But we will definitely try out these two. But I'm going to start with my favourite one. Surprisingly not the big truck. I'm a fan of this little thing here. So we're going to go ahead and use this for the first couple of jobs. And uh, we'll load into that. Now the fire station is a lot bigger than the police station. Most of it's still closed off. But as you can see we've got a room there which is currently unused. We've got a back door that we can use. We can run upstairs as well. I'm using keyboard and mouse for- oh god. I'm using keyboard and mouse for a minute because I'm getting a little bit annoyed by how slow the camera rotates on the controller. We've got some offices here that we've still not moved into. But what is really cool is that the devs have put boxes here. So you can be like, okay, this is still work in progress. They're basically letting you know that everything's work in progress and like they're building it as we speak. Uh, caution, construction area, work in progress. See? Really cool, nice attention to details and stuff like that that they're doing. Now, the reason I came up here, even though everything's working, is because, yes, we do have ladders that we can use already, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and slide down that. Like so. And here's our truck. So, we only get one truck per uh, shift. Obviously, you get assigned a truck, basically. So, this is on multiplayer. You each have your own truck or your friend or whatever can come and join your truck or you can join their truck. Let's go ahead and get the shutter open. I'll show you the truck. So once again, there are three different vehicles you can choose from as you just saw. Here the trunks are at the back. At the moment the functionality is not as much as it probably will be upon release. So we've got the fire extinguisher, the water hose, and the water supply hose. At the moment, as far as I'm aware, you can attach to hydrants. Hopefully that's coming soon. We've got the spreaders for accidents. We've got a medical bag, a ladder, an axe, and a chainsaw. Uh, additional, we've got traffic cones and spare tires. Same as the police car there. So that being said, let's go ahead and take our radio off silence and we'll wait for a call out. Okay, so we got a first call out. We got a vehicle fire at address green tag. We haven't have addresses yet. I think addresses are coming pretty soon, but let's go ahead and jump into our truck. So this is probably going to be the perfect one. This one's actually got more water capacity than the fire truck. So as you can see, we've got 3,000 litres in here. I'm assuming that's litres. Um, the fire truck only has 1,000 because, of course, you're obviously meant to use that to plug in something to it. So let's go ahead, we're going to go and turn our sirens on. We'll just put our lights on for now, actually. Um, I will show you the interior. I forgot to show you the interior. Here's the interior of the truck. Pretty basic, but that's actually, if you watched it on YouTube and stuff, what the American fire trucks are like. They're pretty basic inside. They're basically just work machines. They get the job done. In fact, where are we going? Oh, we're all the way out in the desert. So in the last video, we just stayed around the sea. We are going to finally get to see the desert now. Um, let's get that on. So I only use the sirens when... 
I use the horn for the intersections. I only really use the siren when we're going past traffic, but when we come to intersections like this, you can go ahead and use your horn or your split sirens. Right, so let's go ahead and get that. I have turned down the steering sensitivity as well on my controller from the last video, so it should be a little bit more realistic. But yeah, let's go ahead and get there. Uh, let's go to first. Should we do it in? We'll, we'll drive like this. Why not? Okay, so we are now coming up towards the location and you may have saw in the time lapse the AI traffic's pretty broken You can see they've tried to code it in so that when you're going past with sirens they move out the way But they sort of just shake uh, At the moment and sometimes I've even seen it where the vehicle duplicates. So you can see a lot of smoke there So this is a vehicle file we're attending right now uh, So what we're going to do is We'll park our engine in here for a sec. Hang on. Back up. Let's see if we can block this road off. Now, safety first, we're not going to go ahead and start uh, putting the fire out straight away. Of course, if you had more people in your fire truck, you could have different people doing different jobs. But I'm going to go ahead and close this road off first of all. Just so uh, we don't have members in the public trying to get close to it. But let's put this... Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's put this back. Let's go to... So there's two different sort of hoses, and I'm not sure what the difference is just yet. I feel like the fire supply hose... Should be on the hydrant, maybe. Um, there's not much. What are we doing in fire? But there's nothing. They both say attach the fire truck. So as you can see, we got to here and we attach this to the truck like so. We actually have um, an extendable pipe as well, which is really cool. It follows us around. Right, let's get to the front of the car here. So I'm assuming it's his car that's caught fire. Another Crown Vic. Let's just start tackling this blaze. Now, one thing I was going to say, considering this game isn't a firefighting game, it's based on all three, the fire looks better than other games, which I'm not going to say the name of, that is based on firefighting. Because that game is fun, but the fire looks awful. You see the smoke is really high quality there, for example. The flames look good. So actually putting the flames out, it's a bit gimmicky, but I, you know what you're doing, basically. So you see that circle, you have to fill the circle up, and then that spot of fire has gone out. I do like it, but at the same time, it makes it a little bit less realistic. I feel like you should just have to tackle a big blaze. But it's nice to know whether you've got the fire and stuff, because I've had it before in other games, where you don't exactly know where the fire's coming from, like where the source of it is, but it's still registering one. So this is kind of cool that we can see it. Right, finally, the last one here. We should be good to go. Now, we can't do anything with this car after. I feel like if we had a the police with you, if it was like multiplayer, they could probably get it towed away. But as a firefighter, we cannot do that, unfortunately. Right, so there we go. That's now done. Let's go ahead and start. That's going there, because I hit that. There we go. So that's our sixth fire, uh, sixth fire core. And we now have 800 reputation points as a firefighter. So let's go ahead and put... Oh, I double-clicked it then. Let's put this away. I'm going to put it in this side. It doesn't matter. Like so. I would need to put the cones away. So let's go ahead and pick these up real quick. We don't have unlimited cones. There is a actual inventory slot for cones, which is why I picked them up after. One is a bit more realistic. And two, you might need them later on. So I'll probably do two jobs with this, and then we'll switch out to the fire engine. I'm sure most of you are going to want to see the big fire engine. We might even do one or two with the car. So as you can see, we had 3,000 litres before. Now we've actually worked the fire. We now have 2,411 litres left. But let's jump into this. We can get our lights off now. We are now code three here. A code four here, sorry. I'm not used to the American stuff. 
Okay, so we got a big one now. We have a building fire, which I'm assuming is going to be in the city. Yes, it is. So we're going to go code free to this one. And I'll quickly show you before we skip this journey, um, because we're basically going about the way we came. I'll show you what happens when we get close to the vehicles. So they sort of glitch out a bit like that. And then not... Well, they do get out of the way eventually, but by the time they do, you've already crashed into them. So hopefully that's something they fix in the upcoming updates. It's cool that you can see they're working on it because they do actually get out of the way. It's just the AI gets very confused to begin with. See? Look at that. But yeah, I'll meet you guys when we get back to the city. Okay, so we are now just coming back into the city here. This is very GTA-esque. I know I shouldn't compare it to a AAA game, but I feel like it gets kind of based on GTA in a way. Um, it could just be completely fictional. They just may have done a good job with it. Um, right. Let's cut through this intersection here. I'm actually going to leave the sirens on code 3 now, since we're going into the actual city. Now, I should also mention that I do have the traffic on maximum. I don't know if it's because I'm going too fast that it's not loading in time, or whether it's just really restricted. I would like to see more AI traffic, obviously, when they're fixed and actually move out of the way properly, because it might just get a little bit annoying. I can see some smoke. It looks like... Is it the diner, or is it next to the diner? It's the actual diner, okay, so uh, what we're going to do is stop this truck here, we'll get out. We need to put some cones down once again. Let's go ahead and get those additional cones. Right, let's go ahead and close this road off here. Like so. How much do we have? We have 20 altogether. So once again, this would be something that's really cool when you're on multiplayer. So uh, someone could be getting the hoses out, some of you can start actually tackling the blaze while the other person puts down cones, because at the moment the fire's just blazing away over there. But that should be good now. Should be enough cones. Right, let's get back to the engine. Now one other thing that's not in the game just yet, uh, you guys may have saw it if you watched episode number one of this. Um, we actually had a traffic vest that we could put on, like a high-vis vest, when we were doing the police stuff. Would like to see the same thing on the fire... Oh, is, let me just double check before I say that. Rescue? Okay, no, I was just making sure. There's no respirator just yet. And I would like to see a respirator we could put on. But anyway, let's go ahead and connect it to this. So we're going in at the moment with no respirator. Is there anything on the outside we can tackle? Yeah, we'll tackle it from the outside first. Then we'll work our way in. There's one down. Now, we might need to get on the roof. We might actually have to get the ladder out. So what I'm going to do is make sure the floor is stable enough. Yeah, the floor is on fire, you can see here. There's also only one hose pipe function at the moment. Um, so if you guys don't know, firefighters have the option to do a stream or a spray. The spray is good for like getting rid of smoke and stuff. Smoke's not really a thing yet in this game. Maybe they advance on it in the future. Of course, this is still early access. Let's tackle another one here. You, see that? you can just see outside the window there as well. That pickup truck actually stopped at the cones. So the cones aren't just for show, they actually do have a function. Alright, we're pretty much done there. I think I can see a bit of flame... Yeah, the floor is still on fire a bit here. So about halfway there. Like so. Right, now I think we have to get on the roof, you know. Which is another name here still. Okay. So we could have got the ladder truck for it. Oh, actually, we'll get the sides first. If we do dig out the roof, we can actually use the ladder, and I'll show you that in a second if we need to. We might not need to, but there are some callouts that require um, the ladder. So we will hopefully see it today at least. We might better really get this one from here. Yes, we can. What's that? 7 out of 10. So you can just imagine now if there's like four, five, whatever, six of you tackling this blaze, it'll look really cool. No, we can't get the rest anymore. So we might have to get the ladder out. So what I'm going to do, you see the traffic jams uh, coming up here. This is why we need police assistance. We've only got 1,400 litres of water left. Um, right, let's get our rescue. 
ladder out like so. I'm going to go around this side here, so we're not actually getting up onto the flames. Uh, probably about there. I've no idea how to rotate it. You can actually like rotate it and stuff, but I'm not sure how to do it. Oh, middle mouse button, change the adjustment. I don't actually have anything mapped out for this, but we can go ahead and do this. Um... And then we use the... Okay, so there we go. Use the middle mouse button to basically do this. I haven't got this mapped out to my controller, unfortunately. I need to do that in a second. Uh, so is this one going to extend it? No, that's the lean. Oh, we can extend it. There we go. Right, so learning experience for me. Turns out it cannot be clipping the wall whatsoever. So finally got it up and uh, extended. So now we should be able to climb up all the way. Yes, look at that. Right, let's go ahead and get this one here put up. We've got two more spots by the look of it, unless it's spread even more. Now we are desperately low on water, so we'll probably have to go back and uh, put out the fire. Right, we'll get this final one put out. As you can tell by the hose pipe, it just appeared all over the place. I was trying to get a thumbnail. Um, I always forget to get thumbnails and um, I've got nothing to use on YouTube. But there we go, there's the fire put out. Oh god, I should have climbed down the ladder, shouldn't I? Right, let's go ahead and plop this back into the cargo section here. Do I, I do kind of wish the doors open and had their own individual stuff in there, but at the same time, I do also think if it was too simulating, it would be a little bit... I don't know, a little bit too much. I kind of like the way it works now, if I'm being honest. But let's go ahead and put this ladder back as well. Uh, let's do that. So how much we got left? 1,100... Well, let's just say, just round up to 1,200 litres left. I'm going to go ahead and put that off a second. Right, let's get these combs picked up, shall we? Right, so there's the police station if you missed episode number one. We are now just heading back to the fire station, which is right behind that. And the reason I'm showing you this is because we're going to swap out for the fire engine now. But we're just going to go through this red light. Stuff it. Um, I'll show you putting it back. So it's actually, uh, like you get in real life, you go in from the back. You can actually do that in this game as well. So let's just say we're going into the second bay here, which I believe was ours. Now you can't open it from the outside, unfortunately. So what you have to do is then run around through this door. This does have a back door that you can use. Let's head around here. I'll get this one closed while we're here. And we'll get this one open. Okay, so we head back into the garage. As you can see, we have now swapped it out for the ladder truck. It's the fire engine, but I'm going to call it the ladder truck. Um... As you can see, like I said earlier, we've got a thousand litres of water in here. I'm hoping we can hook up to fire hydrants with this. I've not actually tried, but there's the trunk. The same things available in here it is on the uh, the other truck. All the stuff that we need. Don't know if you can use this big ladder yet. We'll soon find out at some point. I'm going to go ahead and take the radio off silent. And hopefully we get some phone call, uh, some call outs that actually require this truck. Okay, so we've got a vehicle fire. I know we've already had a vehicle fire, but uh, this one's in the city and we get to test out this big truck now. So let's jump in to the driver's seat. I'm going to show you the interior of this before we head out. So here is, I think the FOV needs to be changed, if I'm being honest, but massive fire engine like you'd expect from uh, the American fire trucks. Big steering wheel. I just feel like we're sat a little bit too close, that's all. All right, let's get uh, our lights on here. So we're literally around the corner. And we'll head out. So it should literally be on this next junction here. I can't see any... Oh, I can see the smoke. It's in this uh, alleyway here. Right, so we only need to comb off one section this time. Alright, let's get our cones... Where's the locker on this one? Here it is. Additional traffic cones. We're going to go quite far down here because traffic is a little bit too big for its boots. Let's go like here, let's do that. That should stop them from being annoying. So like, we don't need to do the other side of course because we are on a dual carriageway. Uh, let's get that put in like that. We're going to go to, should we do water supply hose? It says attach hose to a fire truck. Is there any hydrants around here? I don't think, like I said, I don't think yet you can attach to a fire hydrant, but it'd be worth trying. I don't think there's actually one around here anyway. Oh, there's one over here. In which case, we, if this works, no, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, you can't use the fire hydrants yet, unfortunately. So we are stuck with a thousand liters of water. Hopefully, it's going to be enough. Unless you plug the other tanker into this one, that could be another possibility. 
Okay, I take it back. You can attach to a fire hydrant. So there we go. The fire supply hose is attached to the fire hydrant. That's then gone into the fire truck. Uh, now we can go ahead and get our fire water hose. Plug that one in to the top here. And now we have basically unlimited water, I assume. Hopefully. Um, so let's go ahead and start putting this out. Seven sources to put out on this car. Uh, one thing this game doesn't have yet, which I would like to see in terms of the fire brigade and uh, firefighting stuff, is fire spread. I don't believe the fire spreads. I think it'd be cool if it did. Like if we were at risk of the other car next to us going on fire or something. Or even if it's like a building getting higher and higher up. Okay, so we are done here. Now one thing I am going to check is... Let's wait for that. There we go. That's our little uh, report. Do we still have a thousand litres of water? Yes, we do. So that's how you get... Um, Put the hose away. That's how you get unlimited water, basically. So you, I just learned something new. You can actually use the fire hydrants. That's actually blown me away a little bit because I thought you couldn't just yet. Um, right, let's go ahead and get this one picked up as well. You can do it from any side. Okay, so we are now arriving on scene. Well, there's a police car over there. Looks like we've got an accident between a Crown Vic and a van. We're going to go ahead and block the road off. That other truck we had would have been a lot better for this. But... Um, I said we'll be doing a couple of jobs in this one, so this one's actually been a pretty good roadblock at this moment in time. Right, let's get our cones out again, our trusty cones. Let's go ahead and dash you out along here. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this side here. We'll use this ambulance as a uh, roadblock as well. Why not? So you see we've got the tow truck already here waiting to go. It's too black. It needs. It could just be an effect I've got on with my uh, graphic settings, but it looks very foggy, that pickup truck. I did say that in the police version of this video as well. But anyway, we've got a man under arrest there. Let's go ahead and check on this guy. So we need to get the Jaws of Life out. Right, let's get the Jaws of Life out here. Oh, no, rescue spreaders. There we go. We're going to head up to the van. We need to get this door open for him. We're going to point it into there. Is it going to work? Uh, there we go. Let's just get this door open. Cool. Well, you can't put these down on the ground, unfortunately, so we do have to put them back into the truck, like so. Uh, what we can do is get the medic bag out, although there is a paramedic here, so we're probably not going to need this at all. Right, so we're going to go up to this guy here, we're going to inspect him, we can clothes, perform CPR, we can tell people to remove clothes, CPR, we can do bandages or request an ambulance. Uh, what should we do? We'll inspect the patient. And all you have to do is look at different areas of the body to this. Now, like I said, we would have to treat him ourselves if it was an emergency, but there is a paramedic on scene to do that for us anyway. All we're doing is making sure that it's safe for the paramedics to take him out, like if he's got any trapped legs or anything. Um, that sort of stuff. So the paramedic's going to take over now. I do want my bag back, though, you little thief. Can my bag back? Oh, there we go. I saw the icon. Oh, that's why. It was loading that. Driver trap. So, yeah, the paramedic's going to take over. So, basically, the inspects just to make sure he hasn't got any trapped legs or anything, because obviously we don't want, um, the paramedic's ripping him out if it's going to hurt him. Right. This Crown Vic's going to be a pain in my butt, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. This has been the emergency... What is going on with the camera? Is that driveway is awful. Uh, building fight. No, we're going to go ahead and turn that off. So this has been the firefighting on flashing lights. Really, really, really enjoying this game. Um, we still have one more section to check out, which is the paramedics. Now, I have not tried the paramedics whatsoever. It could be really good. could be really boring. We're about to find out. So join me on the next video to see us do some paramedic work. If you haven't seen the first video of this where we were the police, I recommend you go back and check that. I will put a link to that in the description box down below. Once again, hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.